In 2005, the Peugeot 307 was restyled, resulting in a significant change in the front end. The anti-corrosion properties of the body are at a height, traditionally for Peugeot, it is galvanized. The only body trouble that manifests itself after a few winters is the breakdown of the trunk lid handle, the cause of which is the ingress of moisture into the handle mechanism. So long. The interior of the car is practicality itself, 16 compartments of various sizes for small items, as well as a roomy glove box with a volume of 17.5 liters. The front seats are fully adjustable to accommodate people of all sizes. In terms of space in the rear seats, the 307 is one of the leaders in the class. Visibility to the rear is only slightly blocked by wide pillars. The only malfunction of electrical equipment that employees of the company service could remember was the failure of the turn switch unit. Rather, it's mechanism for returning the lever to the neutral position. If you put up with it and turn off the turns the old-fashioned way, manually, then depending on the modification of the car, you can save on repairs from $240 to $400. Engine. The car has a wide range of powertrains, including six petrol and six diesel engines. In Ukraine, versions with diesel engines are very rare. The most modest 1.4-liter gasoline unit is also the most problematic in operation. It is the only one from the line of motors of the 307 that is not equipped with hydraulic valve compensators. Therefore, if a characteristic knock occurs, adjustment of thermal gaps will be required. Only on this engine, to replace the valve seals, it is necessary to dismantle the cylinder head, which significantly increases the cost of work. In addition, the 1.4-liter engine is characterized by childhood illnesses. Firstly, an oil leak from under the head of the block, the reason for which is a design flaw in the gasket. Now, branded services are installing gaskets of a new type, which do not have this problem. Also on this engine and units with a volume of 1.6 liters, when using low-quality fuel or trying to replace a failed lambda probe, the exhaust manifolds crack. The most trouble-free engines are considered 2.0 liters. Transmission. More than half of the 307s on our roads are equipped with a manual transmission. In operation, there are no difficulties with this unit. But the automatic machines sin with the periodic failure of the gear shift valves, which is preceded by their switching with strong jerks. Steering. Peugeot has always been famous for its excellent handling and excellent suspension settings, and the 307 was no exception. In the front suspension, most often they require replacement of the anti-roll bar. On our roads they nurse 20 to 30,000 kilometers, but their bushings, more than 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks and ball bearings hold 80 to 100,000 kilometers and change separately from the levers. The rear semi-independent suspension will require the replacement of silent blocks no earlier than 150,000 kilometers. The steering is equipped with an electro-hydraulic booster, which occasionally brings surprises. With a car running over 100,000 kilometers, the steering rack spool may break. To replace it, a complete disassembly of the steering will be required, since it is located inside the part. If the amplifier electric motor fails, which sometimes happens with a run of about 200,000 kilometers, you will have to change the electric pump assembly. The part costs $800. Tie rod ends are enough for 80 to 100,000 kilometers. Brake system. Reliable braking system is equipped with disc mechanisms of all wheels and ABS brake discs will require regrooving after one brake pad change. The Peugeot 307 is a compromised choice for a family car that can also give you the pleasure of a dynamic ride. When buying a car, it is better to stop at the 2.0 liter version equipped with a manual transmission. It will not only bring more pleasure from the drive, but also significantly reduce the number of unscheduled visits to the service station.